Okay, today is July 19, 2016. This is the third day of the pinning of the right hind leg where the, the bone is fractured, the tibia and the fibula. And at first it was very swollen here because of the, the two ends of the bone were, were poking each other. One goes down, one goes up like this. So we straightened the bone, put the pin in, and put in, yeah. And then after we took the x-ray, which you saw the x-ray, mm -hmm. the pin went in. Now the thing is, after surgery, there's our own patch here, it's called the fentanyl patch. This patch has removed five days, because it lasts about five days. So, so this one, if the owner brings back someone, they don't remove this. You see, then, then uh, there might be some infection, okay. So every day, the cat must be confined to a cage, so that he doesn't uh, jump too much. Because the pin, now this pin, actually we can see is actually here. Uh, there's, a, there's a sharp end here. So this sharp end here is here under the skin. So if the cat jumps too much, at, at the beginning this pin might poke out. Might come out and then poke there. There, there you see the sharp end here there. At the, at the tibia, at the cranial part of the tibia, this is the pin. So this pin, after six weeks, when we, 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 we pull it out, because the bones will have healed, the two, the two pieces will have a close-up. But now, it's only, only three days. So if the cat keeps jumping, this pin might, might move due to jumping or, or running around. And then uh, there, there's a possibility of infection. It's painful, I know it's painful. Okay, so we need to monitor the cat and give painkillers uh, every day. We should we should uh, okay. we should take temperature take temperature which I just taken already and it should be less than thirty nine point five and uh, this one is thirty eight point seven this is okay so we know that there is no infection and based on the cat's uh, appetite is eating right mm -hmm. eating and then uh, active then you can see well he dare to put the leg down a bit yeah. sometimes you can walk in so that. Can you walk in? Uh, it down. So it will be seven days minimum. Seven days for any of this uh, pinning or plating of the bone surgery because uh, uh, the, the complication of uh, bone infection is very serious because the cat then uh, then uh, some of the antibodies doesn't work because the bone marrow is infected. And then sometimes you may need to amputate the leg because the, the bone is uh, very infected and very painful. So, so the cat, <coughs> uh, why, why does it jump down? Do you know? Is it the bird? There's a bird there? Mm. It jumped down? Sure, uh, nobody realized She jumped down mm. three story. Mm. Is, is it due to the, the, because she's not sterilized, is it? Is that the reason it's looking for? No, I don't think so. Uh -huh. For me, no. Mm -hmm. You only found her at the void deck. What time? Six. Six. So how many days then you see the back? Because the thing was very no, swollen. Oh, holy, holy very hours. swollen. Oh, few hours only. Yeah. Mm. Well, that means within one or two days. Uh, because earlier back the, the fracture. Not too long the hold. Mm -hmm. Or, or uh, muscle that is on inflamed and break, break. Yeah. So at that time, before operation, we can see that this part is this part is very uh, reddish and swollen on this part. But now, of course, you can see it's quite. It is, there's no, no inflammation. Okay, so we will bring it, put it in a, in in his cage, and then uh, we we'll give antibiotics and check every day. Okay, thanks.